Hi everyone, Carol Breitbauer. I'm going to share with you five tips to clean up your Google Classroom at the end of the school year. Tip number one would be to return any work to the students. The reason you want to return the work is because currently if you have not returned the work, you are the owner of that file and you want to return it to the student so it makes them the owner. So when you delete anything and you're shared with me, you're not deleting the original file. So let me show you how to do this. Two ways. Let's go to the three lines in the upper left corner and let's go down to where it says to do. Where it says to do, this shows and will list any assignments that were turned in that were assigned. And I'm going to select this assignment here. I'm going to select all students and up at the top it says return. Select return. That's the one way. The second way is to go into the Google Classroom and go to the Grades tab. And in the Grades tab, when you hover over the three dots, you will see where it says return all. That way it returns all the assignments. That's it. End of tip number one. Tip number two, unenroll students. Why would you want to unenroll the students? Well, you might not want them to share any of their classwork with any students coming into your class next year. So let me show you the easy steps how to do this. You log into your Google Classroom, and we're going to go to the People stream. In the People stream, you select the check mark right where the students are. Select Actions and Remove. Yes, Remove. Now you've removed all the students from your Google Classroom. So let's go on to tip number three. Tip number three is to archive your classes. That way you don't have a cluttered mess of a lot of classes when you go into Google Classroom. What you want to do, you want to select the three dots in the upper right corner of your class and you want to select archive. Get a message. Are you sure you want to do this? You and your students won't be able to make changes so you can view the classes and archived in the classroom menu. Yes, I want to archive the class. Archiving the class also cleans up the students' Google Classroom so that they don't come in and see a lot of classes on their classroom grid when they start school next year. Tip number four is to delete and remove old Google Classroom calendars. Two ways you can get to the calendar. First way is from the classroom. When you go to the Classwork tab, it says Google Calendar. Select that, that will take you to your calendar. Of course, the other way you can get to your calendar is to go to the waffle and go down to the calendar icon and your Google Calendar will also load. When you look down the left menu, any of your classes that if you have not already deleted them or hidden them will show in your menu. What you want to do when you hover over that class, the three dots that will appear, you click on the three dots, you can either hide it from the list or when you go to the three dots and you go to the settings all the way down at, at the bottom, it has delete, permanently delete. And for the final tip, tip number five, I recommend organizing the Google Classroom folder. You can get to that folder by going into your Google Class and at the Classroom tab, you select Class Drive Folder. This takes you to the folder of that class. If you follow the breadcrumbs across the top, it will take you to the main classroom folder. Here's the main classroom folder. I put a Ghostbuster icon to know that this is a folder that you never want to delete. If you delete this folder, then you will remove any access to reuse any post and then the new Google Classrooms that you create. But let's go into this folder. And what you can do, you can create a new, folder and you can call it archived and once you have that archive folder all you have to do is grab any of the other folders and drag it into that folder another way that you can also organize this classroom folder I'm going to select new folder and I'm going to call it 2019-20 class year so you can organize it by year. So I'm going to select this folder and I'm going to put it within that folder. I don't recommend deleting old classes because if you do delete old classes, you can't reuse a post. That's the end of my tips, everyone. I hope that these help you to clean up your Google Classroom and to get ready for the new school year for next year. Have a great day.